right, welcome to our North versus South uh, Vixens match here. We got uh, Segura Wheeler, Dr. Segura Wheeler, representing the North. We got Megan Edmonds, representing the South. Um, Megan, um, I was gonna start with Megan, but I'm gonna start with you. Segura, uh, tell us how, tell us about your journey in the series. Um, I know you're not currently the champ in the North, but you also are one of my peers and help run the series. Are you the champ of the North? Yes. When did you when when did this happen? Last month. See, I missed that. We need to up we gotta update our stuff. So congratulations on that. I missed that. But because I don't like the North in these North or South matches, you know that. Because right. you're going for your people. I'm going for my people. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna try to be nice to you in the commentary part, but I can't promise anything. That's fine. So before I before I talk to Megan then. Because Megan is at least a former champ. She's not a current champ, but she's going to be one of our... She's going to be... She's a good bowler. I like Megan. I remember Megan from Mega Bowl. Megan. She's a See, you threw me off not telling me you were bowling today. I'm bowling. <laughs> I threw you off. You, you, you threw me off. I'm sitting there looking for somebody that's not even here. Fantastic. All right, so um, we know how it turned out last time. I do remember that. How is it going to go this time? You said to give you the same energy. How, okay, I appreciate the energy. How many games? How many games going to take for you to do what you think is going to happen? They said five. They said five. five. She's going to lose in five. five. Hey, Randy said you're going to lose in five. I, didn't say that. I told Randy I'll buy him a drink after he lose in five. Well, we we, I, I'm going with Randy. I understand. Okay, so Randy got the five right and the win right, and, and you're going to lose. I, I I I don't buy that. I don't buy that. But you want to go with their five? You can go with their five. All right, Megan, so we know last time it didn't work out in your favor. Right. I do remember that part. Yeah. What's going to be different this time? Um, makeable spares, most definitely. Um, you know, just stay calm. My first go-around, I was very nervous. Obviously, it's my first big event. And I'm ready just to kind of kick ass this one. So. Hey, there you go. So you know, you know the energy she brings. Um, we know the energy the NWO brings. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be able to match all that today? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I did really well yesterday, and I'm hoping just to kind of roll it over in today. I had fun yesterday, and we're going to have fun again today, so I'm ready for it. Okay, so are you going with Randy Soto, or you got your own total games it's going to take for you to knock off uh, Dr. Wheeler over here? Uh, well, I mean, she's she's a tough competitor. She is. Yeah, uh, so I'm going to say six. I'm going to say six. Okay, so you're going to go against Randy, but you're going to stay with you winning, though, at six. You win six, you win five. I hope you're both wrong. I hope it goes seven. But, I, but, but, but I hope Megan wins. Sorry you're my peer. I got to go with the South. We're going for the South. YouTube's going for the South. Your, your TikTok page, your Twitter page, whatever, they can go for the North. We don't care. We're all about UVA at bowling, and we're going for the South. All right, good, good luck, ladies. This is Gordon Pepper. As long as my mic is on, I think that it is. I am here with one major interviewer who happens to be my co-patriot over in the Southeast Conference, one Ray Gillespie. How you doing, sir? I'm good, Gordon. It's good to uh, see you. Uh, glad to be uh, be here doing this with you today. Glad to be, uh, be a peer of yours again. And uh, <laughs> as far as WCS is going to go for us next year as well. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. You know, one of the great things about the UBA is that we always believe in expansion, and we are expanding to the point that this is the last time you're going to see a Northeast versus Southeast Fixins match. At Battle Board, I say that because there's going to be a third conference that's going to be coming in. So I'm now going to be repping the Northeast. Aguirre, who was repping the Northeast, is going to be representing the Southeast. I'm sorry, no. She's representing the Central. Ray's representing the Southeast. And we have a wonderful Vixens matchup that is coming up. We have Southeast, the number one Vixens contender for that. So you may be seeing her with a belt sooner rather than later versus the aforementioned Sagiri Wheeler, who, uh, oh, yeah, she's held that belt, and it's very pretty, and she's held it a number of times. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to the conference split, first of all. Um, going to three conferences is huge for the UBA. Um, it's kind of been years in the making, so to I speak. I agree with that, absolutely. So, we're really excited about that. Like you said, uh, you're going to be handling the North. Uh, Segura is going to take over Central. That's going to have a number of challenges in that um, to start, which is Central. Uh, for those of you um, that are just listening to this for the first time, 
Uh, Central is going to be basically Maryland and Virginia. Basically the DMV, DMV. DMV the Central Conference. Washington, D.C. Yeah, Washington, D.C. Uh, she's going to be running that, and she's been doing some pretty good things. I look forward to what she's going to cause in Central. Uh, the Southeast stays the same size. Uh, we'll have, we're, we're a year or two away from expansion ourselves with as much as we're growing into Atlanta. But, well, you got uh, Atlanta coming in. You got Georgia coming in. Uh, Atlanta and Georgia. Yeah, of course. Good job. Same location. Yeah. We are, now, we, here's my question good. for you, though. You, yeah. you, you've got Atlanta. You've got a number of conferences now in that, I'm sorry, number of districts now in that region. Is there a shot that we're going to be looking at maybe old Central Texas joining the WCS? Um, I think that's going to be, that's a year or two away. Um, I think we got to, we've got some growth there in the Southwest Conference. Uh, it's just gonna it's just gonna be a minute before we can um, bring WCS to Texas. We need to make sure that uh, we can continue to have the growth that we've had. We've added some more teams. We now got two districts um, out there as well. So that's, that's gonna be a lot of fun. And one of the reasons yeah. why I was too busy letting you talk and not commenting because Sigurd Wheeler, who is known as being amazing, 24 strikes in a row, 26 strikes in a row, flags a 10 pin to start this matchup. Sakira, what are you doing? Devin, Devin, I, I'm, I'm here with a, I, I shall say, someone that is very familiar with Sakira, by the way, the former Northeast heavyweight champion who hopefully will be getting the belt back sooner rather than later. Devin, please explain to me what Sakira just did in the first frame. Uh, typical to what we do. We like to dig a hole and then win. <laughs> okay then, sure. Well, right now she's dug herself a little bit of a hole. So talk to me about, and it's going to sound a little, uh, I'm not going to say it. Talk to me about the lady over there. I'm not going to repeat what's in the back of that jersey, but chat with me about her. Yeah, I know, I know you, you don't read all the all the names of the jerseys for, for various for, reasons. For a number of reasons. I'm certainly not touching that one. Right. We, 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 we in the South are very... Uh, uh, she likes being a chef in the kitchen, let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so Megan is a former uh, Vixen's champ in the Southeast. Um, she's a bold uh, Segura at Mega Bowl before, so they've had the uh, one one on one matchup before, and Segura won last time. Um, Megan, admittedly, in the and you couldn't probably hear it from back here, but Megan uh, struggled with spare shooting, so it's already kind of been a flip where that's two more spares than that she made most of her games last time. And You're not Segura, wrong. And Segura's missed. I was there more for that. You're not wrong. Yeah, so it's. It, it was it was it was a bit atrocious, you know. But um, you know she's got she's got a, a good crowd here. She's got uh, Kathy McWilliams, who her husband owns. Um, her husband owns uh, NWO. Uh, got both sales here. Who's our our uh, lefty and our righty uh, bowler on our heavyweight list? Uh, he's he's high up there as well. So she's got some support. And he, he even is got that Daphne Smith over there. It is. We even got the. Uh, oh, no. uh, going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame tomorrow, uh, Daphne Smith. She's um, already been a part of one Hall of Fame, which yeah. is in her own region. Now yep. she'll be part of the UBA Hall of Fame manana. Yep. yep, absolutely. She's a very solid competitor in her own right. And so she's got good eyes down here um, on Megan to help her out. So. Well, you know, Did she do it again? Spare. Oh, my goodness. That's over. Over two. Yeah, yeah. Over you've two. seen the movie Freaky Friday where like the mom and the daughter switches Switch places roles. and yes, and stuff yes, switch sir. roles. Or uh, there there was one horror movie that was based on that where the final girl and the serial killer sort of switch bodies. Right yeah. now, are you sure Segura is not currently sitting down and we have Megan currently bowling? Yeah, I, I, it, this is really weird because it's it, like you said, it's the whole Freaky Friday thing. It's the complete opposite of what we saw last time these two went. Uh, and that's the Segura that you know. Uh, that, you can't that miss I know. corner pins and spares when you get them all down in the first shot. Right. That's like if, you, if you're not going to spare it, get them all the first time. So. Yeah, so we have a number of people now from the Central Conference starting to chatter a little bit. And it's funny because now they're talking smack at her. Yeah, and, and they will. Ray, Randy McWilliams, that's his thing. He's always going to talk. Um, we, we were, he talked a lot to us last year when uh, we knocked him out of the playoffs. He, he just likes to talk to talk. And there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, absolutely. Not in, the, not in this environment, man. Talk all you got. Everything you got to say, bring it. We're here for it. Yeah, right now, Megan up by 21 pins as we go into the fourth frame. For those of you that have just joined us, 
Where have you been? You, you've sort of watched Frankenstein Unbound so far at the beginning, where, where neither bowler was really alive. Now they're starting to be alive, throwing strikes here. Megan looking for two in a row. That ball's got to hurry. It does not. Six pin. Oh, uh, yeah, that came off the spot really bad there. She's going to have to make an adjustment. And I'm not, listen, the people, the, the quality of bowler back here that are going to keep her lined up, this outcome is going to be a lot closer to what she said in winning in six than, uh, than the loss that she took at Segura's hands last time. So, Well, she's done something so far that Segura has not done yet, which is make a single pin spare. Yep. Now, again, Segura known it, being known a lot for throwing strikes. You know, we talk about baseball. Chicks dig the long ball. Well, in this case, bowlers dig the long strike. Yes. And she can string. When yep. she last time that she won the title against Hermione Hannibal, she had 26 strikes in a row at one point. Now she's looking to make a two if that ball buries in, and it does. Yeah, there two you in go. a row for Segura Wheeler, and all of a sudden that 21 pin deficit is now an 11 pin deficit, and threatening to be less than that if she can throw another one. And yeah, we'll give a shout out to her uh, sponsor uh, of Hammer and L1 Apparel as well. Nothing hits like a hammer. Nothing hits like a hammer is the is what they say, but it's not very good at shooting ten bins apparently. Well, right now nothing's gonna hit like shooting three in a row. That ball's gonna hook up a little bit. It just not got a little bit of a mess there. Yeah, she Two, was four, right five, of the seven. spot. She was right of the spot that that uh, that Megan hit that that shot hers up. So look, a little tricky maybe already on thirteen. We'll see how it goes. Well, she does cut the. Deficit down a little bit, however, because of the bad lead. It is 15, and ooh, mm. she almost missed that one. Yeah. Still hasn't hit a one pin spare yet, but she has finally done a conversion. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That the six spare is better than a nine out, so that we're, is true. we're good there. Six spare is always better than nine out. Megan right now clean, and clean means she's up by 15 pins at this point. That's what the result is. Sometimes being clean, you don't have to throw strikes. If you can fill frames, you're yeah. forcing the other bullet to strike the carry. And if they can't, that widens the gap. Here comes Megan. Looks that good. ball's got to move, yeah, and it does. That was a very oh, good shot there by Megan. So she's got the last two on the right lane. Now it's a matter of she got the right adjustment on the left lane because she hit a, hit a weird spot on 13. Hopefully she's uh, moved past that, and we can see the first double for the South of the weekend. And if we get the first double from the South of the weekend, that 15 pin lead will now be 25. Because again, Segura working on his spare as we start the second half of game one. That's there light go. hit, it very goes. Nice. Very nice, there we go. Goes for Megan, she, yeah. as you said, she is looking to avenge a defeat at the hands of Segura Wheeler. Part of the reason why she had that defeat, as you said, for her, Making one pin spares not mandatory, optional. Yeah. Now she's made it mandatory. She has not made a forceable error yet. Segura Wheel has already made two. Already down 25. Ooh, There's that a strike. good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Segura's done playing now. We're gonna. We, she Don't might play turn with this, your food. Yeah, they're gonna turn this into a strike fest here. Well, she's gonna have to because if she doesn't, she's losing game one. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get her up now. Looking for two in a row. Trying to keep the deficit down to 25. Maybe force it. There it yes, is. Yes, she did. Yep. Yeah, so she moved in a couple boards right there got, and got the outcome that she needed there. So that's fantastic for Segura. So we're, both but these she, ladies she, are avoiding the struggle bus. Well, she made the adjustment. She's now as locked as you can consider her yep. at this point, which means Megan's got to keep striking. Sometimes nine spares are good. At the beginning of the game, it was. At this point of the game, it may not be. Yep. A, a turkey here would be fantastic. Turkey, well, for you, it would be fantastic. For Segura, it would not be. Ooh. However, she got a turkey. Thanksgiving time. Just a reminder, gobble, Ray, gobble, Gillespie, gobble, gobble. Ray Gillespie is the WCS director of the Southeast. There may be a slight bias here with Ray and some of the people that he's commenting with in the Southeast. I'm just pointing that out. Maybe yeah. a slight bias. Well, in these matches, it's perfectly fine. It's North versus South. Um, next year, when we're doing North versus Central versus South, we're going to have the same kind of thing. No um, question. Also, no question. Four in a row for Megan. Uh oh, the hand bone. Love it. Uh, 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 meat shake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Copyrights. 
Well, I'm, 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 I'm wondering now if there's meat in those Bowberry biscuits that she's talking about in that jersey. Pause, pause, <laughs> yeah, <I'll>, pause. <laughs> I might have to uh, pause. I have to talk to Bo about this. Gira ruling nah. right now, looking for three. You know what? Gira, I guess she's, oh. Ooh. Al almost had a major disaster. However, that's not really good for her. She was down by 25. She will now be down by more because she's staring at Megan's four-bagger. Now, looking at the numbers, the best that Megan can do if she goes out the door is a 259. The best that Segura can do is a 213, if my math is correct. Last time I checked, 213 does not beat 259. That is so, correct. Not only is she going to have to go out the door, she's going to need some help from Megan. And Megan right now is sort of saying, uh-uh, no, I want the biscuit. And the thing and the thing we're talking about with Megan is that the things that she said it, before we started yeah. that she had to do better on was make her spares. So she's been clean the whole time. She's got the right lane down. Aside from a nine spare to start on the right lane, she struck that. Now she's good on the left. This is going to be the, the slug fest by, that we would by like By the way, I'm going to interrupt you one second. Sagira gets the Bronx cheer for finally making a corner pin from Randy McWilliams and company. There's a whole bunch of Southeast people that are hanging out, giving nice real applause to Megan and a little bit of a faux applause to Sagira. Wheeler right now looking to at least put some pressure on. She does with a strike, however, and a big however here. Megan's got to really fall apart for Segura to have any chance in game one. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Segura's strikes look very good. Like when, when Segura's on, she is on. And that was, what was her what was her record of strikes in a row? 26. 26. If, if Megan can match that, she'll be in great shape to win this North versus South matchup. Oh, boy. Oh, oh no, that, that hot I loved it. Well, that, that ball looked like that that was going to space out. It did not. It stayed put. No, it's it stayed. Dude, that looked nice. That looked really, really good. Yeah, so boring disaster. The South will take game one. Yes. I'm going to call it. We're, we, we're election season coming up soon. I'm calling this one for the South. Game one is going to Megan. No shit. You good at math? I'm fantastic at math. But I really do just now call it. Hey, hey, I think it's over. By, by the way, we'd like to, to announce the peanut gallery here. Randy McMillian, some, some guy wearing a Pew Pew t-shirt here at the party. How you doing, Randy? I'm doing great. How you doing? Doing good. NWL had a great year this year. Yep. Sure did. Yep. We'll have a so, great one next year. Absolutely. Now, you said that you know Pew Pew behind you. Who's that guy? AJ Rampley. AJ Rampley, part of New World Order, I believe, right? Yes, I am. Yes. And one of the reasons why New World Order won the triad. Uh, maybe. Maybe a little bit. Maybe, maybe a little bit. But this is a North Carolina state record holder, 899. Slack, are you Mr. Penn? And I, I knew, I figured out how to finish. I couldn't start. <laughs> I couldn't get started, but I could finish. And he missed strike five. Yeah, I didn't hit strike five either. <laughs> oh, then why are you important? <laughs> All right, so this is over. <laughs> uh, this, uh, well, there's a pin. She doesn't yep. have to make the spare. Finish nope. this with a 237. That is more than good enough to take game one. Yeah, that's more than uh, more than she needed. The main thing here now for Segura will be to see if she needs to make any adjustments going into game two, or if she's already made them and just needs to score better. All right, anyway, I'm going to bring in. We're going to have some fun here. Because maybe I may need to have some clarity here. Maybe Segura needs a little bit of help. Maybe Segura, I don't know, needs some inspiration. So, you know, I, I may have to bring in some reinforcements over for Segura Wheeler. So someone who is very, very, or should be very familiar with Segura Wheeler in the Central, by the way, someone from the Central Conference, Mr. Mike Shaw. Hello, Mr. Shaw. Hi, Glenn. What's going on? I am a little, little familiar with SAG. We were just over there talking, as a matter of fact. SAG, you never know what you get. SAG brings this energy, but her demeanor never changes. So you never know if she's, like, really, really engaged into the match. Or if she's just here taking her turn, but we all know she's trying to win. Defending champ has the belt several times, and we know what kind of fighter she is. But we were over there literally just talking just now and looking at her demeanor just to see how she is. But it takes a little bit for Sad to get going. So game one, of course, went to the north. But we'll see how she gets after this one. I'll give you a hint. Game one did not go to the north. 
South. The, the South. Let me, let me get this out there. I, I, I'd like to congratulate Michael Shaw to being well on top of what's going on here today. Gordon give me slight grief, everybody. I, I was My, Michael's going to be later on here, later on, on at 7 o'clock, if he can find a way out how to make it to the bowling alley at this point. As always, he makes sure to, to let everybody know that I'll be here. So I, I will be here, I promise. If you like Michael Shaw, you get to see him tonight at the Final Four. If you don't, his name's Gordon Pepper. Yeah. Uh, there he is. So anyway, apparently my commentary does no good for Segura at, at this point. No good for the lanes. My dark cloud is all over the place. So maybe, maybe the former Northeast Cruiserweight champion, Sean Knight face on, can lead a hand and help Segura because clearly I'm not doing any good over here. So everybody, Sean Knight face on. Hey, thank you very much, Gordon. Hey. This is the voice of choice, Sean Knight facing, and um, we witnessed what was uh, a highly un a highly unlikely situation for those who know Segura Wheeler, but likely for those who know the one who is me, capital M, capital E, uh, Megan Edmonds, current number one contender of the Southeast Vixens Championship. And it's all about respect, and everyone shall respect me as me, Miss Edmonds herself took game one against the three-time Vixens champion, Segura Wheeler. So, Ray, I got to say this. The South here came to play. What more can we expect from Megan? So, Megan's opportunities last year, they, these two got to bowl each other at Mega Bowl. Yes. Um, and uh, Megan just couldn't make a spare mm -hmm. save her life. And clearly, clean game one. Uh, Segura struggled early, so Megan's just going to have to keep it going. You know, she's got the right people here, and Segura's got some people here, but Segura don't get the she don't get the the, the the trash talk that Randy McWilliams will come down and provide for his team. So we'll see if Segura can like you know stay focused because she's a peer of mine. You know, both uh, we both have a conference for the WCS, mm -hmm. and so I know exactly what you mean. When you say how she brings the, the energy is all the same, you, it's, she's hard to read, but her energy levels like is there. So um, she could turn this on. She could she could go 300 the rest of the way. Yes. On this girl, she's that capable. Um, it, it doesn't bother her like it will other people being down on one. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be on it, and being on it is what you got to be at this level. And that's why Segura's been the champ a lot. And mm -hmm. then when she has lost. She gets it right back. Next chance she gets up there, bam. She's, oh, yeah. She's right there. So. Oh, yeah. Um, she's definitely a, a giver in terms of opportunities, but a lot of times, you know, she will um, squash on anybody humbly. Yes. Oh, um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, you know, I like to talk about um, things like styles and similarities. Mm -hmm. I notice that there's similarities in their styles based on where they play, the area they like to touch. Um, the, the, um, the differences in their styles. You see a lot of more rev power, a lot more uh, at the bottom of the ball. It's Segura generates a lot of rev. Unfortunately, she's not getting carry. Also, with Megan stroking up the right side of the lanes, um, very, um, dare I say, a kiss game. They keep it simple, silly game uh, to the point where you will always keep the ball in play. And when you're in play, you're always in for an opportunity, and you're never really out of an opportunity to get a W. Yep, and, that, and that's the thing with the high rev ballers is you're more than well, you're more than likely to have the washouts. You're more than likely mm -hmm. to miss, you, you miss, you miss big. Yes. You know, when like the, the kiss method, like you said, she, when she misses, it's not that big of a deal. Exactly. And that's why her spare game has to be on. Yeah, because exactly. Because she's going to leave a corner pin. She's going to leave a four. She's going to leave a six. She's going to leave stuff. Yes. But she can't open it. Yeah, I agree with that, and yep. based on what we saw there with that shot with her missing slightly inside, she has what I like to call loan forgiveness. Yes. She, um, a little oil was loaned to her, and yep. it forgave her, and it gave her all 10 back. Actually, an impactful. Uh, she's going up with a very smooth, controllable surface, uh, looking like an OG Venom shot. Yep. And let's see what Segura is going to do here. Uh, one thing about Segura, it's not about how you start, it's how she finishes, and she's one of the best finishers in the game. Yeah, she's the Mariano Rivera of the women's series. Oh, there you go. And you know what, you know, Mariano went, you know, in the 10th, usually there's a lot of X's. Only thing is, those X's mean strikes for negative. These strikes are absolutely positive. They will say plus. Yes. And we all know a strike is plus two, the next two. Yeah, she, she's going to be on it. Like, there's no doubt in my mind she's going to go 220, 230 the rest mm -hmm. of the way. Yes. Um, to me, this is more of can Megan up her game and mm -hmm. keep it up there? Because she's up 1-0, she's up mm -hmm. right? But in this, that doesn't mean nothing. You're right. Because the only number that matters is four. That's right. And you got to get to four. So she's got to go in three more. Segura's got to get to four still. Exactly. So 
it's you know th these two ladies are, are fantastic bowlers Segura's got the uh, probably the higher average of the two but and see right there that's that's the, the bad entry angle there yeah. uh, for Segura left the 710 and you're not gonna see any of that from Megan Megan mm. will leave the seven or the ten but you're not going to see that because Megan's got the the slower, the more simpler approach into the pocket. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Segura can't mess around with this too much. Mm. You know, I know she's not the type to underestimate anybody. Yes. You know, but you know, if, if this continues a couple more frames, and we don't, and, and, and Megan don't show any signs of wear, of wearing down, mm -hmm. Segura might have to figure out game three already. And you know what? As you can see right there, um, now, she to, did point, you. to, you. to yep. point exactly what you said, it is a marathon, not a sprint. Yes. She understands that it has. To, you have to kind of like check the forecast, if you will. Yes. Right now, it's, it's, it's torrential downpour of corner pins, and which we just saw there, a 7-10 leave, which yep. was a result of using something with surface that will turn up early, but it will burn up early. Mm -hmm. It met with the pocket, didn't get through the pocket. She basically did what we like to call an area check. Even though one pin could maybe hurt, we don't know. It's all about who gets to four. And she's looking into the future, and she knows she wants to rain down some more strikes on Megan. Now, what Megan needs to do, keep her foot on the gas pedal. She has an amazing opportunity to add another notch to her to her already accomplished belt. She's the number one contender for a reason. She is supposed to be here. If they weren't here, that means they're not. So let's see how she maintains her composure yeah. all over that four pin. Yeah, and the thing is, is so she's not going to count her chickens. You know what I mean? And that's the thing about both these ladies. They're both very humble in what uh -huh. they do. They're not going to talk a lot of trash to each other while they're bowling. That, that's not, not their style, per se. Uh -huh. They'll let the carpet do the noise for them. Uh -huh. But, you know, Megan is just very simplistic mm -hmm. in what she does. And she she's in the spot now that she's up. All she had to do is bowl the best game she can. That's you know, all, you're right. So oh. there's so many people. I know you've seen a ton of these matches too. I've seen a ton of these matches too. Yes, we, we both have. bowled in the series and stuff as mm -hmm. well. Is you get people that get they get lost in their up one, down one. Mm -hmm. They're behind pins. They're put, pins don't matter. They do not. The not number here. four is all that matters. Um, the number four, getting the four wins. How you do it? You can win four games by one pin. You can lose the other three by 100 of each. Yeah. It does not matter. That's the beauty of WCS. Yeah, that is the beauty of it. And when you talk about losing by small margins like that, it comes to a matter of did you lose or did you get beat? And there's a big difference between losing and getting beat. Losing, yes. you know, you lost a little sauce. You know, you didn't do what you know you should have done. But getting beat basically means that you threw a haymaker and they got up before 10. Yes. Yeah, and it's just like back to the 7-10 that Segura left on 13. Like, she did it to get ready for this shot right here. Beautiful. You know what I mean? And that's what that's what you got to do in this. You got to you got to forget. You got to have the memory of a goldfish. Exactly. You know. I'm sorry. What did you just say? Memory of a goldfish. I'm sorry. I can't remember what memory you said. Memory of a goldfish. Okay, cool. That's right. <laughs> hey, hey, memory of the goldfish. Hey, listen. Huge Ted Lasso fan. You know. So, you know, you'll hear you hear some of them quotes all day from me. But, you know, for, you know, learn from it, which uh -huh. she did. She didn't need to pick up the seven or the ten, and bam, there we go. And right there, a great response right there by yep. Megan. Yes. And that strike that Segura just threw, honestly, based on um, the velocity in which it was thrown, mm -hmm. I feel right there that was a message sender saying, um, "You better keep running." Yeah, the, the, Megan is not going to leave a door open. No, she Segura's will not. going to have to kick it open. Yes. And then Megan will probably still get in the way of the door uh -huh. and not let you move her. You're going to kick it twice. Well, I'm from I, I'm from New York, so you know you got to throw in a timber and knock that door yeah, down. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Full force frontal kick. Yeah. Sometimes you got to like you got to lean down and tighten them laces. You, you know what, what I mean? Well, you don't wear them tight all the time, but you got to tighten them there when you got to kick that door in. Well, even though um, we're talking about tightening laces, that was a loose fit strike, but strike nonetheless. It's, she got the mix. And um, shout out to the DJ here. Apparently. Um, um, Megan is also a DJ. The way she makes those pins up on that on that fifth frame strike. Yep. And and thing is too is like they're gonna talk to her about that and making sure that, that she knows what she did wrong there. Mm -hmm. Megan's good enough to wear. You know she knows already. Segura. Oh, she almost left that ten. Yeah. But, she almost left that ten. But that was a fresh surface with a little more um, back end work. Yes. Um, she's definitely. Um, 
knows that the back end will work for her. She just has to find the piece that works for her hands. If it works for your hands, if it works for the back end, it will work on the pins. Yep. So now it needs to keep working. And then what happens is, or what needs to happen for her, is that Megan needs to blink. Ooh. So, so that goes to show that sometimes you just get a strike even when you don't deserve it. Because that was really, really light. Um, Sagira's probably, you know, admits to admit to it after the fact, maybe, that she didn't deserve that one. Uh -huh. Or maybe but, she channeled her little um, heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, with that little hey, step out. Hey, that looks, hey, <laughs> it was impressive. I've seen that in a lot of the videos that uh -huh. she's been on, that, you know, she's got a, a very unique style and almost waiting for her to have her own signature line and stuff. That was, that was not pretty either. That was not pretty. That was worse than Sagira's. I, I was going to say. A lot worse than Sagira's. Well, 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 there's questions about horseshoes yeah. and, and about four-leaf clovers and all sorts of good luck charms. Um, but the charm is this. And um, Sagira is basically running right there behind her, reaching and can grab the back of her ponytail, and she's just waiting for something to happen in the tent. And Ooh, that, that is exactly what was a half a loaf. Uh, um, to, uh, to quote Luniz, she got five on it. Yeah, yeah there was definitely five on it. And it, that just was very light. The, the, the thing about these girls, too, that you know what's with Sagira is, she's already changed balls even after striking. You know, she's got she's got her surfaces right. And a, a lot of times, a lot of times what happens is people always want to wait until they struggle to change balls. Uh-oh. So that, that, that was the door being kicked. Uh, the door has been kicked. I, let me tell you something. In, a, in, in boxing matches and in, in any kind of cage fighting, it's all about can you, su can you survive taking a hit in the chin? Now, Segura took a hit in the chin. Yep. She swole up, but she could still see. And right now, um, her corner, they're working on her. And Megan's corner, what they need to do is keep her head in it. Oh! I told you this! She's making fucking pancakes right now! She's making pancakes! <laughs> uh, I hop, baby, I hop! Put the pressure! You know what you said? Put the pressure in the back! And the NWO <laughs> is making a lot of noise out here. The New World Order yeah, is right. out here causing a ruckus. Yeah. And you see, you see, got Troublemaker here. Uh, uh, Tremaine, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Troublemaker. He, that's all he is. He, he can't bowl. He, he can't bowl for nothing, but he's a good oh. carpet guy. Oh. Hey. Oh, oh, can we talk hey. about the fact that right now y'all must be carpet tag team champions the way y'all are out here. And you know, let me tell you something. The, car the, 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 car the carpet is effective <laughs> to some point. That's and, the oh, guy. The, 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 That's the, right. The, you know, you know, the next month, you're looking at the number one contender. Okay. Oh, oh. Well, and we're looking at a number one contender right now, bowling yeah. in the form of Megan yeah. Evans. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's the NWO That's for fun. life. Too sweet? Too sweet. Sweet. Well, let's see how sweet this shot is right here. Cause it looks like, oh. 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 Well, it may not be so hey, sweet, that's, but right now that's it two. shows that she's high that's powered, two. and that is definitely nah. sour power if you're New World Order watching that last shot. That's two. That's two on that left lane that she got. She didn't deserve. But these ladies got the strikes on the board. That's all that matters. Yes. And like I said before, I'll say it again. Um, where are the Vixens in the heavyweight list? Because they need to put some pressure on some of the heavyweights next. Ooh, light again. Oh, oh, oh. God, come on, Megan. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? All right, Megan, run this down. <laughs> and the North making noise in the background. And we got North versus South over here. Yeah, and it's getting right. loud. Just fair, I just, just like to point out the correct microphone etiquette because you're chatting and she's screaming and she couldn't hear you because you put the microphone all the way in the back like you were living in Guam. So this is the correct way to conduct an interview. So here's the interview. I'm, I'm, I'm teaching something that's Shondite, oh, which is if you're, if you're Trump, but if you're trying to have somebody give their opinion, you can't have the microphone out in Guam. You have to have it right over here behind the nose and the mouth of it, which is what we're going to hear after she throws a strike, which she's in. Hey! Oh, give us our hits, baby! Let's go! Let's go! 
Not going to do it now, are you, mama? Let's go. So that would be the correct way on how to deal with screaming people. He don't know how to do it. You, you got to get a work instruction for him. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I, I heard I, I heard something over here, which I think may, it, may be some advice here, something about shoving the mic in the back of the throat or, or, or something like that. Yeah, Randy likes that shit all the time. He, he's the one that don't, he don't need that shit. He don't need a mic. Stuff. Stuff for the children. We have children listening. All right, see here. See if she can get it. He just likes the mic. Oh! oh. oh. Let me ask you a question. Wow. You can ask me anything you want, wow. but that was a crazy eight pin over there. That was a crazy eight pin. I may not conduct interviews as good as you, but you, but no one's the best dark cloud except you. I'm a really good dark cloud. Because as you were the dark cloud, I was the melanated medicine for for every single carry she did not get. Strike, 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 strike. Oh, wait, here's Gordon. Yeah. I'm, I'm good like that. That's right, GP. <laughs> And GP means good positioning on that last shot. Unfortunately, did not get the carry on that. Now, here's what we have. What's the situation in the tent? Here's the situation. The situation is Segura has control of her own destiny. If she goes out the door, it's a 225. The best that the South can do at this point is a 219. Segura gets the first two and count. We're tied at one game apiece. What? I'm not sure what you watch it, Gordon. But so, she's not going to strike out. So. Yeah. Mathy, mathy. Yeah, you're mad they mad If you would have calculator, yeah, if you would have worked, yeah, if she would have struck out, Segura had to strike right, out for I'm two sorry, and a quarter. I can't read. Yeah, it's yeah, two. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, you, yeah but, you just can't count. But she would have. Uh, no, actually, I saw that as 159. 159 out of 169. Yeah. So, you're correct. South has got control of their own destiny. I can't read. Gordon Math was ever wrong. No, Gordon Math was correct. The problem is Gordon's vision was wrong. Because uh, I saw it up there, it looked like a 159, but it's not. It's a 169, there goes, which yeah. means if she goes out, it's a 229. But with that, lack of strike from Segura also means is the best that she can use a 214, which means any old mark and self would be up to zero. And however, she decides to be as, in the words of you, philanthropic as she was in the seventh frame. Mm -hmm. And Segura decides to make a, shall we say, a donation to the Church of the Episcopalian, if you understand what my drift is, will be tied one game apiece. So now my question becomes, would you like me to hang out here? Or would you like me to go in the back? Would you like maybe a dark cloud sighting over here? Ooh. You know, what would you like? Well, How much you have invested in this match? Well, only thing I have invested is interest. I am interested in seeing a good contest. Uh, we are not, we are, we are non-biased commentary, even though uh, I rep that north. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Non-biased, huh? I, I smell a little moo poo in the uh, unbiased category. If you catch my drift. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't agree with you on the un unbiased part. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. -oh. uh. <clears throat> And a hush goes over yeah, the crowd. Yeah, that, that wasn't good. That, that, that is not a good situation. No. But so now, now, although Megan had... The game's over, Segura wins. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the best she can do uh, is... Because my bowling map is actually pretty good here. Ooh. And it is indeed now 1-1. One, one. But the best that she can do, because she didn't throw a strike, 219. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, 199. Uh, no, 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 no. You're right, you're right, you're right, because I can't freaking oh I can't freaking read. It is 209. It doesn't matter. She needed the strike, didn't get a secure wins for time one gate. Yeah, and we are here one and one. And yeah. we are here to have a lot of fun. Because Gordon likes a certain number when it comes to these one on one matches. By, by the way, that, that was a dark cloud sighting over here since he needed the strike and didn't get it. Loose game over. You're welcome. Yeah. So I would say I'd say take your ass back there somewhere. <laughs> by the way, my, my two favorite words, game seven. I love me some game seven. So I don't, the only bias that I have is I want to see game seven. So you may see if it's game six and someone needs to win game seven, you may see me biasly or unbiasedly or subconsciously rooting for whoever's trailing to win game six so we get a game seven. But I just want to see a good match. Ray, what do you want to see, Ray? Um, I want to see a good match, too. Um, game sevens are pretty good. I just want to see the South win. I could care less if it's in five, six, or seven um, at this point. But, you know. I'm just going to get uh, do a GoFundMe page, get uh, Gordon a calculator for some of his uh, math, and maybe maybe I'm going to stop at a, a, at a Dollar General and get some of these uh, elementary school reading books oh, uh, wow. for him as well. For all of the times that I have corrected you, in the years, and he's laughing, so he absolutely knows that I'm right on this. 
for the mathematical skill set. By the way, my math is fine. I just apparently need new stronger contact lenses or maybe walk a little bit closer. My math was certainly correct in that 10th frame when you guys bleep that up. So anyway, back to Ray. What the French toast? <laughs> the fudge? Yeah, we're going to see what uh, if the South can fudge up this here. Well, and, uh, I don't think you want the this. South to fudge up. Well, we're going to take out the D in that and just leave it as a fudge. Um, pause. But um, that's good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And the pause is very important right there. Yeah, very good. And But you know what? You cannot hit the pause button. you got to hit go. you got to hit play, and you got to stay in play. So we see a surface change right there by Megan. Yes. Um, Megan does not need a line change. She just needs something to pick up in the back. Um, one thing that I could definitely tell about all these um, these great competitors here, both, both of these ladies, is that they both have good foresight in terms of transition. Transition, 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 to, and stay focused on your mission. Yeah, I, I think game two is going to be one that um, – could be one of those ones that Megan could come to regret because, you know, she was up, then she was down, and then she was back in the spot to where that Gordon didn't know that she was in to where she strikes out as over. And she ended up opening. So that's a big, that could be a very deflating. It could have that balloon effect to you where it's like, mm. ugh. I, I should be up too well. Yeah, I call that the pirate syndrome, sunken the, chest. Yeah, sunken chest. There you go. And so the main thing now is like she's got Bo down there talking to her now. Mm -hmm. Which are you? Do you want to talk about uh, Megan's jersey? Oh, well, you know what? Let's talk about that. Oh, she loves Bowberry biscuits. Yeah, and and so that, that that's our guy right there, Bo Sells. Oh, there you go. That's why Gordon wouldn't wouldn't mention the name earlier. He 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 gets uncomfortable talking about uh that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? Sometimes you have to have what you love right by your side. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and so Bo, Bo's one that actually gets to take advantage of our, our WCS rules to where um, he's lefty and a righty. Mm. So he can move to whatever side he needs to get what he needs out of it. He don't have to worry about just, if it's a lefty house, he can go left. Shout out to the rule book. Hashtag yeah. no protest, please. Yeah, yeah no, I can't stand protest. We had to handle one earlier this year that was, uh, was a real doozy. More power to you if you can do that. Go left and right. That's you know. You know. Hey, hey we, we all love anyone that can switch hands. Yes, but uh, hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop on that one for a second. And you know what? Um, we have. We have identical shots of what Segura just threw on the same lane. Yep. Finishing extremely high, leaving the four, mercifully not leaving the nine. Um, still advantage Megan on this one as Segura has strike, spare, strike, and we have double and nine count for Megan. Yeah, I think making this spare right here is going to be a confidence boost for Megan because, you know, she was clean all the way till the, what, the seventh frame last game. Yeah. And, and then the tenth didn't help her, you know, so... It's back to what she said before we started. If I make my spares, I got this. Yeah. And she met, she opened twice last game. She lost. Yeah, she pulled up to the party nice and clean, and so she got out, got out the car, got splashed with a little puddle. Yep. And you know, and that ruined that ruined her party plans. So now she um she's rescheduling, and right now I think I think she's enjoying the music. Ooh, yeah, I think the music sounds no. good to Megan. That hey, that that's probably pretty good right there. I'm not gonna lie. That, oh, it looked that, real good. That was really solid there. That was that was similar to the one Segura had where she where she had left the stone eight. Yeah, that's that, that, yeah that stone eight. Yes, no, yeah, they both left four pins. It was matching fours, and it's how apropos because yep. it is a race to who can get four games first. Yep. So they have the same vision. They have the same goal. It's all about who's going to get there first, and that ball's going to hurry up. Ooh. And oh, so the Ooh. four before the nine now. Yeah. Um, thankfully, it wasn't in the same exact shot. Yeah. Yeah, four nine would be very tough, uh, especially the way Segura throws the ball. Um, four nine is tough for anybody, uh, but her her rev rate and everything makes that four nine conversion really tough. But luckily, like you said, the four and the nine leave were not in the same frame, and she spared both of them. So she's back on that uh, two sixty pace, uh, going Dutch so far, and um, you know Megan's got the two seventy nine max. So mm -hmm. Megan Megan's in the driver's seat, but 
like we saw in game two. It, it, go, it can switch yeah. real quick, real quick. And let me tell you something. In a, in a gust of wind, a lot of things could get blown over. So 270 max for, for Dr. Wheeler and 279 max, as you uh, mentioned before, for Megan. But the 10 pin has to be willing to negotiate if that's going to happen. Yeah, that's been her problem so far. All three games has been the tempin. Oh, we got a whole lot of stuff. What up, little bit? Hello. Yeah, we, I had two little bits in the same zip code earlier. I got Murder Inc. a little bit, and right now we're watching um, North vs. South Vixens. Uh, so you're familiar with uh, with Dr. Wheeler Segura. Uh, Megan over here is um is she's putting up a fight. It's currently one one. What do you see happening uh, as long as um, Segura can carry? I like Segura. I don't really know Megan, but I like Segura. Yeah? Yes. Look at you sound so, 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 so cute and nice and everything. Uh, we, we, we didn't, we, we're not going to hear you later on. We're not going to hear you screaming for the North. The North needs you right now because right now the South talking crazy. The North for what? Or for this. <laughs> Who bowling later? No, right now, um, the, Segura's the North. She, she needs someone screaming for her. No, I mean later, later. You said there's a match tonight, right? Uh, very not, good, very I'm not good. sure if there's a match tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, North versus South tonight. Yeah. But this is kind of popping it off right now. And right now the South has a little bit of an edge. So they, they, they're drinking and they're feeling saucy right now. What you got to say to that? The South said they like them. <laughs> uh, don't be cute now. Right now for the women, I like Segura. You heard it. But for other things, I like the South. Well, there you have it. So let me ask you this real quick, since we're going to talk, we'll talk about the heavyweight match later. Uh, we got Jesus versus some guy named Ben. Um, who, who, who are we going for in that match? I don't know either of them. I don't really care. You don't, you don't know Jesus? I was going to say, you don't know Jesus? No, not really. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce you to Jesus. He's on, he's on the team with the, uh, the Pumpkins. Stay dangerous. Now. Oh, he's on Stay Dangerous. Yeah. I know who he is. He, he, uh, yeah, he, he left that. He left, uh, he left Goat with the quickness. Well, so, uh, oh, my Ooh, goodness. Wee. Well, geez. Uh, I, I was there. No, no, no comment on that, uh, on the support. No, no comment on that. Mm. That's right. Go say, go say hi uh, to, to Juice, the world heavyweight champion, is in the building. He just got here from his. Uh, he flew into Philadelphia earlier today. Uh huh. And I know that that ball flew. That ball flew into the pocket, and unfortunately, did not get the carry that she should have got. And and all I gotta say is that once I see the temperature rise, I already know what it is. You're mad for. Right there, right there. Flip a chair. Right now we got we got the DMV flipping chairs for, for um, Segura Wheeler. And if she keeps hitting the pocket like that, nine pins are going to need a doctor. But apparently there keeps remaining to be one survivor up there on the whole rack. She does a good job. She, she respond, responded quite light, nicely there because she went nine spare, what, three in a row. And that's not going to get it done right now because Megan's on a turkey going for that hand bone again. Yeah. And Segura, in retrospect, is not throwing any bad shots. Neither bowler really throwing any bad shots. It all comes down to what we like to call a carry contest. Yeah. And right there, Megan, blowing Ooh, the rack out. Yeah. Can't say, can't, you cannot take anything away from someone who earned their spot as yes. a number one contender and potentially future champion. Yeah, and Megan is solid. She's a very solid bowler. She's always, she's always bringing the fight. You know, her sister bowls in the cap tag series. Mm -hmm. um, it's a family that really loves bowling. They're 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 just ph just phenomenal, man. It's like you said, they like they, everybody that's bowling at this level deserves to be here. You're you're you're, on, you're streaming live on YouTube right now. You got you and me back here talking about you. You got people out here in the on the carpet going for you, getting loud, talking mm. trash, doing all the things that the UBA is all about. And and I couldn't be happier to be a part of it. Indeed, indeed. And what we see right there is a um, well, if I may use your namesake potentially a ray of light for um, for Dr. Wheeler as the seven pin stands up and that's gonna that's definitely gonna be a spare conversion. Very nice. But the story is this. If Segura can go sheet as we like to say and we continue to see taps, we could see a similar situation that just happened in game two. 
Yes. Yeah, and that's got to, you got to think that um, for anybody, that's going to be in the back of your mind. So Megan's going to be thinking about that. If it's in a spot where I can't open here, I can't open here. That's the worst thing you could ever think as a bowler is I can't open here, I can't open here. Because this, what happens, you open here. Yes, you know? so, yes. So she's got to just keep all that clear, keep it keep it out of her mind, and just do what she's doing right here. You know, exactly. Sagira, gonna, she's going to probably go sheet here for 238. Right, but she's still in the driver's seat. She can go 258. So mm. all she got to do is do what she's supposed to do. Yeah, she's going to get to finish first. So put that pressure back on Segura. Don't let Segura put that pressure on you. You put the pressure on her. So the plates in your hands. Just do not drop the plate. Yeah, the, the, the plates are very fragile. And Segura basically knowing that she's behind, but still um, making her opponent think about it yeah. just a little bit. Yeah, Sagir is very humble, but she's very. She knows about mind games. You know, she she knows what she's doing. You know, she knows that you know just that extra look back, like oh, I can't believe I got a strike there. You know, uh -huh. is enough for to make somebody go, oh man, like she didn't realize that she struck there. Like wow. Like, hey. Well, one thing about Animal Planet, they show that the female of any species, especially when it comes to gotcha. tigers and tigresses, they hunt. And yes. Sagira's hunting for an opportunity to to steal this one. And the whole world right now, especially this game, is in Megan's hands. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely there. And the good part is this time, where it's, it's kind of where in these situations, since we don't deal with total wood, it's a good and a bad. So, so um, Megan can finish this out, and Sagira can't do nothing in the tent. So then Sagira can go ahead and, and go look at future ball changes and all that kind of stuff. So sometimes, you know, the... the the game count system can can cause some issues. Situation, yeah, very interesting situation. A potential, dare I say, tie. Yeah, tie, ties are uh, the only thing I like about tying is my shoes. I'm not a big fan of tying in uh That's in one bowling thing games. that I like almost as much as game sevens is ties. Ties are fantastic. Of course, she's got to make the spare here. Uh oh. oh. Well, we're not getting a tie. No. Mathematically, uh, it is going to be very hard to get a tie at this moment. Yeah, we're, we're tie is not going to happen. So I'm looking at the math here. If we go, if she goes nine out, no, it would not be a tie. Yeah. Four, yeah, five, she's going six, to, seven, eight, nine, she needs ten, to, eleven. No, she's yeah. got, she's got to get a mark. Open, yeah. no good. Two thirty-eight finish. Two thirty-eight finish. Actually, no, it's not just a mark. It's got to be a strike. And it is. Nine spare is a win. That would give her 227. Now, actually, nine open, we could have a tie. <laughs> that could be fun. The clouds just gets dark, doesn't it? Yeah, did not count. Me to nine. Ooh. You know, I... I usually don't throw a cloud in terms of Miss Ferris, but that was silly. And that's game. Uh, Sagira Wheeler, after losing the first game, has won game two in dramatic fashion yep. and has now won game three in just as much dramatic fashion. Yeah, that's that's back-to-back -back games where Megan's going to be kicking herself later because she had uh, the ball in hand, so to speak. She should have been up 3-7, and, and now she's down 1-2. Yep. And, and, and all of a sudden, some of the Southeast people are leaving. And that's a finish. And I look tripping four is there. At the end of game three, Segura Willie, 238. The South, 226. Yeah, yeah. Segura's up two to one. And those biscuits right now may be starting to burn in that microwave. <laughs> In a game that, as you said, you're absolutely right. At the worst that she should have had at this point is a tie and a two-frame roll-off. Yeah, that, that's just, that's bad. It's, it's kind of where, you know, Megan said in the in uh, pre-match that, you know, I missed my spares last time. And if I don't miss my spares, I'm going to win. And well, you're right. Game she's, one, she didn't miss her spare, she won. Yep. Game two, she missed her spare, she lost. Game three, she really missed her spare in the 10th frame, yep. and she lost. Yep. As I said, she should be up for at least 2-1. Uh, the theoretically, if she was clean, she's up 3-0. Yeah. And then, but 
I like I like Megan's support that she has here, keeping her focus. I like it still going a little bit longer than five. See, that's very good. See, a lot of a lot of people at at, at, at this level are very good with yes. getting back up and throwing another strike. Yes. Forgive and forget. Back Absolutely. to the goldfish. Yeah. Like we talked about exactly. that. Exactly. You know. So she just showed it there because there are a lot, I've known people that you'll see in league that if they pull like crap to finish a game, it rolls into the next game. Hashtag some, DNF. And some people are so bad, it rolls into, sometimes it rolls into the next week, you know? Mm -hmm. But this, this, oh, oh, oh that, I think that seven was going to fall forward there for a minute. Yeah. And, and you know what? Um, Big Mama's trying to protect her house. Yeah. Um, Megan is definitely still, um, she's a contender. Yes. I mean, not only just in the sense of her going for the belt, she like she belongs up there with, with, with some of the greats that's currently bowling right now. And she's proven it because she she's not laying down. Right. Yes, she has a couple of mistakes here and there. But now, if you're her opponent watching this, it's two things. You could either think, oh, she can be demoralized if she loses this, or, oh crap, she's gonna make up for it against me, and now I have to deal with a potential storm coming my way after this match, depending on the outcome of this match. Yeah, it, it's all about it's all about just how you're gonna process it and process it in the right way. And we saw there where Segura got up there on 14, with a little two. Ooh. That 7-9 should have stayed. I'm gonna protest that. 7-9 should have stayed. But Segura spent so much energy in the end of that last one, knowing that she had to get up there and do and perform an attempt. She did that. That might have been what led to her struggling a little bit on 14 there. But as you can see, the bowling gods are with her. Yeah, indeed. That should have been a 7-9 leave. Yeah, that was. Uh, and they both just said, "I'm gonna go lay down." Yeah, that was a, a almost a, a reverse Josh Malik. Uh, a reverse 810. That was yeah. a 79 high flush pocket that tripped out. There you go. And Megan, Megan maybe smelled some blood in the water after those two shots. And if she you smell blood, you better be a, sw a shark and keep swimming. Yeah. Yeah, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Yeah. You know, shout she, out to Finding Nemo. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they got, she's got to just, for, it, it, it's easy to say. Yeah. Right? But you can't. Who cares that you're down 2-1? Honestly. Because right now, you just got to win this game. Yeah. Win this one. Yeah, and then change the conversation. Then the conversation changes. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Hands going up. Hands going up. Uh-oh. Hands and, going up here. And we have a usher situation. No, no drive-bys. No drive-bys here. Well, Get we, this, Megan. Get this. There's been some drive-bys here during this weekend that have gone... Um, not handled, but that was handled very well. Yeah, it's um, very nice. No powder fresh moments. No. And, and the way she threw it, that you wonder if it's a situation where she leaves them often and mm -hmm. she's got practice on it. Because you see a lot of people in this environment. Because I know you've seen it. Oh. I've seen it. Hell, I've been powdered before because I've been five pins. Mm -hmm. And she threw that like it was just another pin. No pressure. And, and, and you know, speaking of pressure, let's see if um, the doctor can continue to apply apply some pressure right here with this next one. Ah, Ooh. Flat said, flat said. Yeah. You know, the, the temperature rises, the music rises, and now the tensions rise between north and south. All love at the end of the day, but right now, this is a game that we play. And yeah. if you're going to be in the game, you better play it. Yeah, you got you to gotta play it. And I, I'm going to say, Segura's going to miss the stead bin. I got a feeling. I, th I think her, her luck has ran out on the stead bin. She's going to miss it. It's going to be like me playing craps last night. And, like, this is, it, she's not going to get the role that she needs right here. No, she's, she's fully powered up. Like one thing about well, Segura. Because yeah, she lost it halfway down the lane right there. Yeah. She, she got that power going. You're right. Now, if you look at the difference, and let's talk about the difference in body language and in role and in finishing and posture, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Both bowlers have now leveled up in terms of them being loose, them following all the way through. All their shots look different. They look more, dare I say, sure. All shots are sure, with the exceptions of some of the shots coming where uh, Seguero was able to come back and steal those games. 
Segura right now, once she gets power in her swing, it's not often that she will get anything less than nine. And the same could be said from what I'm witnessing for the first time and having the pleasure to, might I add, by Megan. Two, one, Segura. Yeah, the thing you're talking about body language and stuff too, is it, it's not always about the body language on the approach and at the line. Yeah. It, sometimes it's about when you're coming off. And so like, if you look at Segura right now, yes. that she's got the same look when she was down 0-1. Uh-huh. She's got the same energy, the same focus on what she's doing, what she needs. Like she's she's dialed in. Mm -hmm. Megan back here, standing off to the side, a little, uh, you know what I mean? Like there's a little bit of like, is is the quietness a focus? Or is it, uh, does she feel a little defeated? Does she, is she thinking? Cause like if, if, if I'm her teammate, I'm not yeah. letting her be by herself. Yeah. Because I don't want her to think that she should be up 3-0 right now. Okay. You know, I want her to be focusing on let's win this game. And with, when I see her over to the side, it just kind of worries me. Mm. That like, you know, I don't want you over there to the side. I want somebody to talk to you, you know. Yeah. I, I get you got your fan out, you're trying to cool down, all that kind of stuff. But I don't want you, I don't want you thinking. I don't want you thinking at all. Just leave it 4-8. Not very good. You know, she can obviously spare this up. She's still in, in, you know, they're still neck and neck here in this game. So it's, yeah. it's not the end of the world. But the, the, the body language back here has to match. The gears is matching from the time she sits down to the time she throws the ball to the time she sits back down. Oh. And there, another open there. Now, if you're watching the way the dynamics are changing in terms of um, the lane and the breakdown, you know, um, you're catching some of that over under that happens, especially when you get to the middle and on the low side of Bolarama. You get that strange reaction in the middle and yeah. you start to notice interesting shifts. Um, she stands far right and still skates a little bit in the middle, doesn't make it to the four pin. And now is when you talk about where styles really make towards fights. The area and the power in which um, she held as she tugs that one a little bit. Uh, that was a lot. Yeah. That was and, a little bit. And you mentioned the body language, and you mentioned the change in Megan as she goes off to the side, and the body language coming off as the environment starts to get a little more rowdy and raucous. Yeah. Um, quiet bowlers stay quiet, and they let their their, their bowling do the talking. Yes. But, but maybe the noise could be getting to her, or maybe she's just channeling something to maybe potentially walk her down. It's, every game has come down to the final frames. Yes. So she's never really out, but she has to stay in it in terms of her mind frame. Yeah, I think the main thing is like, I don't, I don't worry about when Megan opens. I don't worry about her getting down yes. as much as I worry about Segura stepping up a notch, mm -hmm. going, oh, I got her, I got her. You know, that's the part that like, it's, it's not necessarily the shot of Megan. It's the fact that I, it helps, it helps Segura more, not just in the scoreboard, but in that confidence that mm. like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna keep this going, I'm gonna keep this going. And, no, but Megan, like you said, still in this. We're still early. Um, they haven't thrown the best shots, um, you know, consistently right now. Because like yeah. you said, the low end of Bolarama starts to get a little funky. Yes, it does. And, it, and we're seeing that. We're seeing, we're seeing weird leaps. We're seeing like she had to throw that way out. Um, we're seeing just having to play it better, play it different. And this yeah. could be a whole game of transition for both of them, where they got to figure it out. We don't. Segura doesn't need to open here though. Yeah. You know. Because when, when Randy's been down here, uh -huh. it's it's help Megan. But then he goes, because he's got a team bowling in the uh, 1700 cap, uh -huh. that he keeps disappearing and worry about them. And the, and the dynamic on the carpet changes here, too. Yeah, and it, you know what? And the carpet right now is definitely, um, they're, they're, they're putting something in the atmosphere. And I hear a couple of uh, cars driving by. Maybe they're asking for the driver to make a, uh, make a make a sharp turn, uh, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Uh, she's all over that. Oh yeah, that look good. Hey, yeah. My girl. yeah. You know, it's one of those things that I've noticed about the carpet up here. I noticed it when my team was up here in the Elite Eight last year that the South shows up early mm -hmm. and it's supportive of the entire time. But the North waits until like the match is almost over in their favor. Then they're like, then they want to talk. Mm -hmm. What can can you explain that to me? What what are, we, what are we doing here? Like, 
Do, can we not? Can, both sides aren't talking the entire time. It's like they just they're picking their moments, you know. Opportunistic trash talk. There you go. And you got to me. You got to do it all the time. That's you that. Know? That OTT. Yeah. Uh, well, you left. Uh, oh, that was so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, for a while, you you left when everything changed. And Megan up. Look good. There you go. And Megan, Megan right there, all over that frame right there. And you know what? This right here is all about who can get get a, more doubles than the next person yes. for the rest of the game. Yeah, because, I mean, you think about it, too. You got uh, Megan went strike, open, strike, strike. May, um, Sagira... Segura is on spare strike, spare strike, spare, spare. And their outcome is about the same right now. It's just a matter of, you know, the doubles, like you said. The doubles are what's very important right now. Uh, Ooh, tripping out that 710. Yeah, that was like a blooming onion right there. They just kind of all just, uh, uh, Well, you know what? Yeah. Well, onions can make you cry. Yep. And the thing is, too, is I guarantee you, Segura makes an adjustment. Even if she threw a strike, she'll make an adjustment on that right lane. Because she has to, because that, that's not going to stay there forever. Segura up. That ball's got to walk in. And walks in real nice. Uh oh. Yep. Oh, uh -oh. and Big Mama's uh -oh. talking. Uh -oh. Big Mama she is talking. here. She, we got, we got, you got to see a little extra energy now from Segura. Like it? You know they have a saying, Ray. What's that? Don't poke the bear. Oh no, hell, definitely don't poke the bear. I, I, but then when you, yeah, when you when you when you poke the bear though, you got to make sure that you, you you don't have to be the fastest. You just can't be the slowest. Again, that's again where when it's been in the spot to where Megan can take over the game, she throws a shot like that. Because Segura can only do 239. And she could have got 247. Mm -hmm. But now Segura's sitting on the bench and leading. You know, Roddy Piper always says, that's when you think you have all the answers, I start to change all the questions. Yes. So now what is the new question? But the, the new question is, um, can we can we ask for some assistance in Segura opening? That's the that's the question that, that she needs to ask. So, now, now did did over here, Bo, a second ago, uh, talking to Tremaine back here, that you know Megan's having some knee issue right now. Um, she's already got you. You see the KT tape is already yeah. on it, so it's it's not like it's a it's a a fake issue or nothing crazy oh, like yeah, that. Oh yeah, no, that's real. And um, and that she's open right there too. So so it's one of those things where you you see you, you see Megan, she's defeated a little bit right there. Yeah, I see and, and I and I know as somebody that's had knee surgery before, um, and that chronic knee pain. There's nothing worse than bowling when your knee hurts. No, for real. And uh, I, I'm also a, a, a braced up bowler myself, you know. And shout out to both the ladies. Shout out to the, both the bowlers out here coming in, and obviously not really um, doing or feeling their best, but they're still pushing through. Segura's really pushing through. And and and, and you know what? The North is coming alive right now. That one was laced. Yeah. And Segura is definitely lacing shots. Both, yeah. both individuals are pushing through. And right now, it's looking like the count's going to be 3-1. Um, no, Segura's up 2-1. Yeah. yeah. It's, about, yeah, to, it's, yeah, about, it's yeah. about to be 3-1, um, provided and assume that she finishes. Well, mathematically, I believe it should already be there anyway. Yeah, as long as she just keeps it on the lane. Yeah, so that does it right there. So we're going to be 3-1. 3-1 here. Well, well, 
Segura right now, potential 239 finish, uh, yeah. doing what champions do. And I'm not taking anything away from Megan. And unfortunately, her knee is acting up. But yep. I'm not going to count her out because Segura has not won four games yet, but she is closer to four games than Segura. Now, we could either see her um, do a Mortal Kombat and finish Megan, or yeah. can Megan do um, a legendary thing, uh, the namesake of one of the retired franchises, and pull what we like to call a classic walk down? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be one of those things where if, if she can if he, she can start hot early in Game Five, then we might we might be able to see it. But I, I, I honestly just kind of feel like the the body language thing again that if she gets down third or fourth frame next one that. It's, it's not gonna it's not gonna be there you know what I mean and I, I, I hate for that for sure <laughs> and troublemaker down there Tremaine Bog in the number one contender, number one contender match for the cruiserweight uh, belt in the South when the series starts back in September. So Megan can throw a quality 202 here and yep. maybe get herself mentally ready for the next game. Yep. Now, this is what you have to have, not only blinders, but you have to have some form of earplugs. Even if they don't really exist, you have to put them in. You yeah. have to have a laser focus. And you have to make it where it's only you on the lanes yep. in the midst of all the noise. Yep. And, I, and I think that it's, that's not about the three quality sh uh, shots here to finish. I think what she's trying to do is figure out if she can shorten her approach. Yeah. Because she looks like she's uh, probably eight, nine, ten inches closer. Yeah. Um, and just trying to see what she can do as far as, you know, taking pressure off that knee. Yeah. And I, me being in this situation, shortening the step, shortening the backswing takes a lot of pressure off any any thing that's hurting, whether it's your knee, lower back, any single thing. Yeah. And but but three shots here, um, even though it won't won't lose, I always have what I call those quality low games, where at least if you finish good, maybe you'll start better. Notice that her last finishes were not good. Yeah, they were. They were. They were this is her best finish yeah. um, since the first game. And that all and that all looked good too. So game five, starting the well right here, Sagir. She can put that early pressure on. Every strike is pressure when you're in an elimination game. Yeah, and this is exactly what it is. This is a win or go home situation for Megan. Segura Wheeler um, looking back at one of um, the carpet crew members of New World Order, and she let them know, and I quote, this is Big Mama's house. And when Big Mama gets to step in and gets a weapon right now, she is a lethal weapon. Yeah, that, yeah that, that she is. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm interested to see with these ladies when we go to next year where these matches are triple threat matches. Because yes. you're going to have the north, the south, and the central. Yeah. And when you get three girls on the lane, and it'll be for all the series, where they get out there on the lane and it's a race to three games. Yes, indeed. You know? And, and like, that's going to add a whole new dynamic to all of it. You're going to have three different franchises back here on the carpet talking. You're going to have three different bowlers, maybe three different ways they bowl. Uh -huh. um, the styles, the first, like so much of it is going to be great. But she's, she's looked good. Yeah. She's looked good here when she finished up um, game four. She's looked good here at the start. This is got. This is gonna be good. Oh, she's gonna, she's good. gonna fight. She's gonna fight. Yeah. And that's all I can ask for. Yeah, Megan. you definitely mentioned um, splitting into those divisions and you know getting uh, triple threat matches. Who doesn't love a good three way at Battle Bowl? And I, keep it bowling. I'll save the. I say I like the the triple threat set uh, on Holy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we'll say that. And what's she gonna say here? And hey, wait uh -oh. a minute. Uh oh. Oh, we gotta. Uh -oh. oh, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, they always, they always show 
the end. They only come at the end. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We're going to call this crowd control because yeah. <laughs> if she makes it, it's still going to be sunken chest for yeah. the shot. But if, I'm sorry. If she misses it, it's going to be a sunken chest situation. Yeah. But let me tell you something. If she makes it, all rise for Big Mama. Let's see what happens with this um, makeable yet very missable. She going for it. Uh, all right. Okay. Well, you, hey, you can do that. You, you can go for it when you're uh, up 3-1. Yeah, when you're, when you're up 3-1, you, you can go. So these two, uh, well, you, you, gave them, you gave them the carpet tag team titles? What yeah, you gave them? Start the shot clock. Start the shot clock. Go, go ahead. Well, we just played a new game. Yeah. Guess what key I'm in? <laughs> yeah. And if you can't find it, neither can I. Yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> and let's see what key she's in. Oh, oh. she locked in. Hey, she's in that strike key. That strike key. And right now, right now, Megan trying to pull, like I said, when I say a classic walk down. Trying to see what Megan can do here on this shot. Gets the ball outside go. very early, Ooh. but it comes back and it stops just on time. Yeah, that, that was good. That was a great shot from her. She so you think Tynell Tate was cheering for NWO? Oh. Hey, Tynell, wait a minute. Tynell, hey. you cheering for NWO? No, 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 no. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh, dissension within the ranks. Uh, time, whoa, oh, Ray, dissension within the ranks. Did I just see a too sweet to the CEO? I, I, I want everyone to win. Nah, it's Eric Bischoff all over again, man. Uh, Eric Bischoff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh, man. Shout out to, um, to the UBA Battle Bowl. has been crazy right now. We're watching this amazing North versus South Vixens match. Ty Mel, you know, you know um, you've seen Segura. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and Megan has been making a name for herself here, Megan Edmonds. Um, what do you got to say about all these Vixens on the list and the ones who are not on the list who should be on the list? Um, I mean, the ones on the list is great. I mean, they're, they're pretty much trying to, you know, work on putting women on the mat, you know, and we just need all the other women to just just come out and participate, um, you know, bowl some good matches, you know, challenges, and, um, you know, just uh, just make a name for themselves. Uh, put the, you know, get prepared to be on the big stage. Yeah, yeah, and, and no bigger stage than Battle Bowl at Bowlerama. Each year. And shout out to those going to Mega Bowl as well. This, this shot going up. And oh. 10 pins standing up for its rights. Pancakes in the evening, he's here. Oh, man. Tell everybody about that pancake comment. Tell them what, it, what that means. Tell man. them what it means. <laughs> I, I think you need to let Randy come talk about the pancake. Yo, Randy. Hey, Randy. Let's see if he calls this drive-by right first. And that's going to get there and it's all over that 10 pin. Now, Megan has a lead. She's been here before. Yes. Now, she needs to um, keep that killer instinct. And if I can quote um, what I heard in one of the matches, over on the north side, she needs everything. Not for total pinfall, but for her own mind frame, her own mental, and to keep, to take the crowd out of the match. Yeah, and it's every time where we get in a situation where she's in complete control, she normally opens. Yeah. And right there, she just threw a great shot. She threw, she threw that as all every other shot she's thrown in this game. That looked beautiful. That's what she's got to keep doing. All right, that, that, hey, hey, that's one too sweet, too many. Over here, dissension within the ranks, trying to, trying to sway the office. And, and, and that's what we talked about before. Not to say that it's an open, but we know Segura. If she sees anything, a slight, a slight shift 
she takes advantage of that shift yeah. as she jumps on the ball. Megan needs to keep her foot on the neck. She got to make this four. And, and the way she's been shooting some of these spare shots, sorry, sorry. The way she's been shooting some of these spare shots, I, that, that's not, that wasn't a given. That was not a given there by no means. Yeah. She got it, so she's still up, but in a way, the momentum is back in Segura's favor. Yes, and, and I like how you pointed that out. In a way, that does put the momentum back in Segura's favor. Segura is in many driver's seats. She's driving two different buses, the bus to victory for this game and the, uh, and, and the bus to victory for this match. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's looking at it like, look, I can go ahead and end this in five. Go ahead and get my 350 and get up out of here. Segura up. That ball's got to hurry. Uh, and finishing behind man. the head pin is Segura as she pipes it in the oil, does not get that drive. Yeah, she's going she gonna to either have to move or she's going to change balls because she's, she's doing that a lot now. The 10 pin leaves are all flat. Yeah. So she's going to have to figure out. I don't know enough about her individual game to say what she needs to do, but she's smart enough that she knows she needs to do something else. Because um, she don't she don't want to give this game away. She don't want to go to game six. No, exactly. She would rather just get it done. You know, go get something to eat, you know. Exactly, Get yeah. ready for some action later, you know, whatever. And, like, you know, because I don't know if she's bowling events and all that kind of stuff. but And she got that one ten as well. So ever since the first Frank, uh, the first game, she's making her ten pins. Dr. Wheeler up right now. She needs to stitch it up, and she needs to do some surgery right now, um, and she needs to finish it up. Um, she already opened up the, the opportunity to win, and mm -hmm. now it's the best part of a surgery is when you stitch it up. Yep. But can she stitch it up? Let's see what she's going to do right here. She might have heard you from back here. It looked like a, a surface change. Yeah, but you can tell like her, her energy is ticked back just a little bit right now. She's, oh, yeah. But she's back to where, you know, where she got that boost earlier mm -hmm. when, when she had the chance to go th up 3-1. Uh-huh. She kind of like dialed it back down, kind of like I think she's resetting herself, knowing that like, hey, this might go six. I don't want it to, but, mm -hmm. you know, she's just trying to stay in herself. And she, she's and dialed in right there. Yeah, yeah. Megan said not this time. She is trying to finish this. You see New World Order repping hard. Um, each shot she throws is generating um, two sweet hand gestures for all my wrestling aficionados. And high powered, um, definitely putting on a show. And the show goes on. And because Gordon loves game seven, we're getting closer to what he likes to see. And what we could see is a 279 finish, potentially, for me. Me, not myself, but me, Megan Edmonds. It, so, Sagira's got a double here. Sagira needs to go ahead and, she, well, she needs to go and get a turkey, honestly. Because she's going to have to put the pressure back on Megan, because Megan hasn't handled the pressure in the ninth and 10th. Sagira gets pressure. On her, she handles it. But Megan hasn't handled it, so Segura's gonna need to. to... Ooh, wow. Ooh. And we get it. Yo, yo, wow. Jenny, I see that clap out come in. Oh, yo, 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 what do you know of that? What do you know of that? Make that look. Say him, Love is always here. Let's go. Okay. All day. Every day. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, we out here. Yeah. The, the North right now trying to move, prove something against the South. And she, and she, whoa, was that a hit and run? She, yeah. She, all right, we got a dead, we got, we got a dead pin inside the gutter. Oh, Ooh, okay, okay. I thought she threw it out there too far. No, no, she, um, she has trustworthy services and she knows, she knows what's in her bag. Yep. But then again, so does Megan. Yeah. Uh, Respect to both ladies out here showing, well, even a lot of the male competitors had a strike because we yep. all know in the UBA, a lot of guys don't want to see a lot of these girls in the lane too. No, I, I, hell no. <laughs> I, I, I'm not bold either one of them. Nope. I, I promise you that. Uh, Here's a very interesting situation. For those who do not know, Deadwood in. if you do not take it out, and if your ball touches the Deadwood, it will not count. And a wise call by the carpet crew is yep. to get the dead wood. 
If she made any contact with the pin in the gutter, that would be an open frame. Cannot afford said open frame. Yeah, she can't afford to it. And I, and I almost hate the fact that I know a lot of times we, we try not to worry about Deadwood in these matches because now I hate the fact that she's all, now she's having to think about what she's got to do now. She's having to wait for them to clear the Deadwood so she can throw it to stand pin. And it's just uh, not the best situation out there. And you can tell she got the fan out. She's hot. She, I think she can do this. We're going to see, see Staff here. This guy's name is Staff. He's going to go out there and... Uh, Clear this deadwood for us real quick. Right. Well, while we're clearing that out, let's talk with our Hall of Famer right now. Um, tell everybody, I know who you are, but tell the world who you are. Daphne Smith. Uh-huh. Hall of Famer. Yes, as of tomorrow. As of tomorrow. Yes. And you know what? And that is definitely a future um, a thing that's going to happen. And you are presently right now. Um, one of those first ballot Hall of Famers. And let's talk about what's happening now, watching these two Vixens compete. You've been here how many times now um, in terms of defending titles, going for titles? How many titles have, do you have? Um, I'm a three-time champ, and I have, I have not been beaten by the North in two matches. I have won twice in my two matches. I won against Hermie and... Um, what was the other one at Mega Bowl? Mm. It don't matter. Okay, yeah. Well, we, I, we don't... I have not lost in the North versus the South. So, so Unde undefeated. So, Daphne's humble, though. Daphne won't brag on it. I'll, I'll brag on it. Daphne beats the North. She, It's not even close. She destroys them. She's humble. She's sweet. She's not going to ever say it like that. But <laughs> she's one. If she's bowling and she's in a match, she's, I'm going for her anytime. Um, she's one of the first first vixens, the first women, that when it comes to unholy, oh, she's, a, she's the first that was good. She's, she's the first one getting her DMs blew up by people wanting to <laughs> bowl with her at unholy. I promise you that. And you know what? I gotta say, right, she slid into that shot like, like it was some DMs right there. And and if we could just talk about um, Megan's finishes before. Um, um, left a lot to be desired and cost her those matches. Um, so being in a situation like that where you know you've um, given away things and let it slip out of your hands, um, what's the mind change shift that has to go when you're going into your other games knowing that you still have an opportunity? You have to let it go one shot at a time. You have to make your next shot your best shot. So if you make a bad shot, you make an error, you got to let it go. Because if you focus on that, you're not gonna you're not gonna make the next good shot. So you got to focus just one at a time. Let it go. And like I said, every shot at that moment, make that your your best shot. And that's why you're going in the Hall of Fame. You gotta do it. Well, definitely appreciate you. All right, thank you. All right. Yeah, it's, a, it's always good having a chance to talk to Daphne. Daphne, uh, one of the better owners we have in the UBA as well, not to mention a very solid uh, Vixens champ. She's even been a Vixens tag team champion, too. Yes, so. indeed. So, what, so, and then shout out to the, to the South actually getting that Vixen tag team um, thing popping off. I always felt that that was a great idea. Um, like I said, Vixens are some of the best bowlers in all of the UBA, and in some cases, uh, across the, not only Northeast, Southeast, across the country. We got some of the best bowlers in the country. I stand by that, yes. and I guarantee that. It's yeah. a brand name. Yeah, we got more We got more and more ladies that are getting involved in bowling um, uh, PBA events, too. Uh -huh. uh, PWBA, like, they're getting out there. They're, like, they're competing. Like, this ain't, bowling is not a thing where girls are looked at funny or anything like that, mm -hmm. you know? They're, they're equals. You know, I know you you probably can't beat many of them. I know I can't beat many of them. Shout out to me being lined up with Hermie <laughs> and getting shot 299 on. And, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Hey, it happens to the best of us. And you know what? Shout out to, like I said, both competitors having their own um, – their own battles, um, not only against each other, but within their own bodies. Uh, I talked to Segura. She wasn't feeling um, her best. And we saw Megan powering through, powering through her knee issues and having an amazing game. To come back with a knee that doesn't feel that well and to shoot 256, that is definitely something to talk about. And that's nothing, um, that, that's not, that's nothing to, to, to bat your eyes at. No, that, that says a lot about a person, too. Yeah. When you have every excuse handed to you by your body on why you should stop, 
and you tell your body, nah, I'm good, I'm going to fight, that says a lot about Meg. That says a lot about getting up there and doing that thing. Anytime anybody puts the injury behind them and does this, like, that's that's her best game she bowled so far. When she's ready to fall apart because her knee is not cooperating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so they, that's, that's that's big, man. I, I, big shout out to, to, to Megan, uh, to Segura, because Segura, you know, she's got the knee issue as well. Like, everybody fighting through their battles, like, people love bowling. Mm -hmm. People love being out there doing their part. You know, you and me, we like the ball too, but we like to be back at talking too. And, oh, that, yeah. and that's the thing, it's like when you get you get to be in your element and doing the thing you like to do, nobody can tell you nothing. And nobody can tell these ladies that they don't deserve to be here, that they should quit because they're hurt, whatever. Megan's gonna she's gonna be up there until she loses four games. You know? You're right. And that's and that's all it's gonna be. And she's gonna fight the entire time. So I'm I'm looking forward to game six here. Oh, and yeah. Hopefully Gordon stays away and we can actually get a game seven. Well, you know what? But Megan has shown us. Any of anybody who's not familiar with Megan is definitely um, making sure you remember her name. And you know, she said, "Respect me," and I'm saying that for her. She should walk around saying, "Respect me," and the me is Megan Edmonds. Yep. yep. And I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest that as a jersey name for her. Um, her sister uh, commented on YouTube already. Um, so if you know Miranda, if you could you know go ahead and put that in her ear, get get her a, a respect me is a perfect one because me use the initials in your favor. That's what this guy is good at is coming up with stuff on the fly. He's like oh, his own little version of a comedian here. A little, our, uh huh. Our, you know our own little uh, Dave Chappelle. A little yeah, bit. Maybe a little with a little with a little Chris Rock, a little bit of Chris Tucker uh -huh. at the same time. You know. All the Chris's. All the Chris's. And let's see if she can Chris in the pocket with this first shot. There you go. Hey. See, look how you like segue right into that, man. I love it, man. Hey, there you go. And that was your crimson red shot with a crimson red ball. There you go. And now we have what I like to call uh, a different kind of match. Because now you know that you can stick around. Now, after you stick around and stay around, make sure you don't play around and finish your food. And see, it's, it's one of these things where it's like, you know, you can, people come by and they're asking us, you know, as they're going to their events up, you know, hey, what's the count? I was up. And you would think that since Segura's up 3-2, the, the, the momentum's in her favor. But it's not. Because Segura blew her chance to end this already. Yeah. And Megan's capitalized. Yeah. Where she's like, okay, so she's down 3-2, but she's got the momentum. She went up there, threw a perfect strike right there to get started. And so the pressure... Being up 3-2, though, is yeah. still on Segura. Yeah. And, and, you know, I love when we talk about that. And I thought I was the only one that talks about that. Yes, you have the advantage of being up, but there's also the pressure of being up because yes. there is the what if factor. What if I don't finish this in time? What if they mm -hmm. win that next game and they find a new ray of hope? What if... I cost myself by not finishing, just finishing a match when I should. There's a lot of different factors at play. Advantages and disadvantages are all about perspective, trajectories, and angles, yes. similar to on the lanes. Yeah, I mean, you know, because the thing you, the thing you don't want to creep up in your mind is, you know, why are we why are we bowling this game? You know, and now you got we're back to back shots now where Segura is going to be going, oh hell, I should have closed this out, but. You know, because Megan's throwing great, because Megan's 256 or whatever she threw the last game yeah. was the highest game we've had so far. So so far. So so far, you know, because it's, trust me, any one of these ladies can pop off a three. And, yeah. it, and it wouldn't surprise me. So this is just stay tuned. I put yeah. it that way. Stay tuned. Right, stay tuned indeed. And we are staying tuned here live here at Battle Bowl 2024. And these ladies are definitely giving us more with each shot that they throw. They're leaving it all on the lanes right now. Absolutely. And they are definitely in their bags, literally and figuratively, uh, whether it's ball changes or just making sure that everything, every step they take means something. The approaches are good. They're making good shots. Let's see if we're going to get the carry right here. And that's got to hurry. And hurry it, it indeed it does, taking out the 10. Yeah, and, that, and that's the, and that's the worst that's the worst ball she's thrown 
on that right side in quite some time. And, you know, she's going to have to make a move off of that one. You know, we'll see. I think she needs to make a move. Wolf back. And... Uh, Wait a minute. Uh, uh, four or five, I believe. Okay. 45. Uh, I've seen a Colt 45. Probably we got a Billy D situation. We got a Colt 45 up there. Yep. And, there's, and we're in Delaware, so there's plenty of zigzags around, too. <laughs> but we got a Colt 45 going on here on 13. Ooh. I almost had it, almost had it. Yeah, yeah, we call that a pull-out situation. Did not want to make the baby there. Yeah. <laughs> definitely a pull-out situation. And let's see if Big Mama right now can get back in the kitchen and, and turn on the pot and get the cooking. Because she has an opportunity to put this away. All she has to do is win this game to finish the story. Be looking at a 410, but it's okay. Uh, uh, what we're looking at is an X. We got two slashes, no dash, yeah. and that was an X right there to take away the stress of what would have been a split. Yeah, because just like that, she's back up. She got max score now. And big shot right there. So it, so it took her it took her to witness a 45. It took her to get lucky on a 410 to throw the best shot she's thrown in probably two games. Well, a lot changes when you're staring down a 45. Yes. <laughs> it does. And it she does. did exactly what you do. You start running. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, hey, there's no lie detected from me on that one. Well, let's see if uh, Megan can reload. Ah, oh, oh. that's the same flat spin Zagiri was having earlier. Yeah, yeah, it was ludicrous the way it stands up, but it is standing up. And let's see if she can knock it down. So the, the, we got a let's go Megan chant from our carpet tag team champion. Yes. That's got a hook and it does. Ooh, and all over the I, I was worried about that one. So we got the uh, baseball, softball uh, chance kind of going on here. I feel like DC is in the building. And Megan up. Oh, no 10. All right, Megan has left the 10 pin back to back frames now. She needs to. Uh, have the same fortune. She got to spare this up. She can't. Uh -huh. Don't leave this door open. No, you definitely cannot. Because right now it changes from you having the advantage. Got it. Now, right, right on cue to the music. Yeah. yeah. And that's, she picked it up. She picked it up. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That, and you know what? I heard something like a phenomenon when she got that phenomenal carry, be that Segura yeah. Wheeler out of the frame. Yeah. Now, the spares are good. But the strikes could be piling up. Right. Maybe. We do not know. All of it is for sure. Death taxes and vixens being tough. Yeah. And I tell you what, if she gets this one, woo, I, I think that would have that could have been it right there if she had that one. But I but I'll tell you another thing with Sagira. It's like that little like when she gets up there and does like this little hair flip thing, yeah, that's intimidating as shit. To oh, me. like it. Oh, we got a side bet on the spare. I'm about to. She said we're betting on the spares. We betting on spares. Okay, here we go. Oh, we go. the five is on the floor. We got a five dollar bet hey. on a ten pin mate. Hey. She said, "Who like?" She said, "Since y'all talking hot, hey. let's see who's gonna bet me this five on the ten pin." Five dollars. So look at this. We got, so. <laughs> She got the $5 laying over on the floor. 
See, Matt and Randy or anybody else, they get $5 to go make this whoa, sandpit. Whoa, whoa. Who, we got this, who we got behind us over here? Who we got over here? This is the man, the myth, and the legend. Uh, tell them. Tell them who y'all want to Oh, I'm just juice, you know, just the world heavyweight champion. That's it. Just watching this great match of these two women right here. Oh, uh, you know what? Hey, it's better to be. Hey, yeah, you are. You, you got the juice now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always, you know, I always got the juice. Shooting at him in the elevator? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we got a we got a five dollar bet going on for the ten pin. The ladies getting serious here. Oh yeah, five dollar bets on ten pin make. Here we go, here we go. And and it's, and this thing, Segura, that's Segura's five dollars. That wasn't nobody from her team. That was oh, her yeah. putting it up. That's oh, yeah. So her getting this is gonna show a lot. go oh, oh oh wait a minute and now oh. we got bets on strikes hey, hey, we, get, hey. we get crazy now oh wait the bets on the strikes oh, what's the what's the bet on oh the bet oh the money the money's on the ball return she said okay that's strike man now Stop. I, I all right, here we right, go. All right. Right, right now, they're like poking the bear. Man. You do not poke the bear. No, 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 don't poke the bear, but my goodness. Oh. Oh. There we go, man. Bets are being paid. That's what I like. And we don't normally have that with the North. I don't know if you've heard. know how this went. We had Mega Bowl back around when COVID started. We had some guys from the North that went and paid their bets. So we in the South know that North money is funny money. We wow. gotta be extra crazy. Listen, we take all of our bets, go through Corey. If, uh, Corey. if Corey ain't with you, we ain't with you. Oh! oh that was afraid too, afraid too early. Afraid too early. No, and you know, shout out to, to the South coming through. Yeah. Um, it was an SOS situation. Yes. The carpet crew, that, you yep. know, normally you get disqualified for this in the wrestling world. They've got into the ring. They got involved in the action. That, that's fine. That's Where fine. is the, the CEO? The, the referee wasn't looking. The referee got knocked out. Now you got to take advantage. Oh, yeah. And she took advantage. All right. And now back in the driver's seat. Let's get this double here. Come on, Megan, double it up. Oh, oh, wait a minute. No, nope, it's okay. gonna hold. Okay. Shout, shout out to the Olympic basketball going on right there. A little yeah. basketball point being played. And the only place where a double triple, double dribble will not get cold. That's right. That's right. Now let's see who's gonna be the proverbial brick house in this tightrope situation. They must have told you what they said. Hey, North, North, I love you guys on the bench. Don't, don't take what I said seriously, North, on the bench. I don't need no more hate email. Huh? Wow. Wow. Wow, that was crazy. Oh, wait a minute. The we, 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 we got somebody, oh, she wiggling it, she wiggling that dollar. I don't know if it's a dollar, if it's a five, 10, 15, 20. She said DMV money, it's not funny. <laughs> oh! Okay. That's, that's all right, Megan's still up in this game. Mega still up? Yes. Oh, man, we got some dancing going on. We got a club oh, energy oh, now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got some BSE. We got some big strike energy. We got some big bowler energy. Yeah. And you know what? Me 
is stands for match energy. Match energy. She's yeah. matching the energy of the crowd, and she's feeding off the energy of the South right now. Yeah, I'll tell you what, because that, that, that 256 last game, that was the first time when she was up going in late that she didn't open or, or screw it up or hand the mat, hand the game away. Yeah, yeah. And so right now, she's she's going to take advantage of Segura's um, open. There we go. Oh, and we got a little high knees going right now. Yeah. And let's see if they can make the situation work out. Big Mama right now, um, she's great at making Megan think about it. She goes back seven, still got to think about it. Yeah. But if M.E., not only for Megan Edmonds, but for matching energy, yeah. happens to go out. Now you go back to thinking about that one little hiccup you had, and that missed 10 pin. Oh, another, uh, another ugly 410. Wow, fell out. Man, listen. Oh, yeah, yeah, Julio, wait, wait, wait. I got Julio, former welterweight champion, the king of the clap out. Yo, yo, we see a lot of clapping going on. Jen is bo uh, borrowing a little bit of your clap style. Um, what are you seeing here uh, from Segura as well as Megan? From what I see, Segura, she's giving a little more hand. It looks a little slower off the hand, but she's really, that's a better shot actually right there uh, from Segura. That's big too. Megan looks like she's got a lot more ball speed on it, playing a little right of Segura, really driving through the pocket though. Yeah. This is really good, really close down to the down to the wire right here. But Segura may have a chance at. Oh, actually no, this may end close. Who's it? Four seven two thirty six. Oh yeah. Two forty five here. So yeah. a double a double here really is gonna force Megan a double. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Segura has been forcing that situation a lot. Forcing the situation has been her specialty. She needs to force the trigger. That's not a 4-10 there, Ray. No, no 4-10 on that lane. <laughs> big shot. Yeah, big shot for a potential 236, potential 245 for Megan. Megan must strike. Must she double. Gotta yeah. strike. She gotta needs double. a double. Regardless what's the gear that do. Gotta double. Yeah. Uh, no double, a lot of trouble. And that trouble basically means that you're traveling. And you're traveling over the lanes. That's gotta be nine or better. Oh, and it's way better than nine. All right, here we go. All right, somebody keep Gordon Pepper away from us. Hey, Gordon. He's too, he's too close. Right. Don't holler for him to come over here. <laughs> Gordon is sitting and watching. We don't want our ratings to go down. <laughs> First shot is big. She needs a double. She needs two strikes for this. First shot. Oh. oh. And that is going to be game, Damn. set, and match. Damn. No no shame in the game of Megan. She came here to a hostile environment that only grew Man. more hostile as the tides got higher. But the fire that is three-time champion Segura Wheeler started slow, but it, is, it burned and it turned into a raging flame. And unfortunately, Megan is the one who, who suffered but she, but it is only a burn. It is not anything that will cause her demise. Because I guarantee you that she will rise to be one of, if not, potentially a future Hall of Famer based on this. Because yes. things like this is what builds character. They say struggle builds character. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it, it's all about how you how you get off that struggle bus. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and what you do. Like I'm, I'm so proud of of, of Mega's effort today. And what she's done, you know, uh, I'm not sure who my guy over here in the red shirt is um, with, this, with the CL on it, but uh -huh. he came down and, and, you know, he had told Megan, like I was able to kind of read his mouth here where he's like, you know, hey, you know, anybody that can go toe to toe with Segura, yeah. I got respect for you. Facts. And so that's the thing is like, we're all talking trash. We're all doing all that stuff. At the end of the day, you're building respect. You're building character. You're doing all that kind of stuff that's going to put you in those elite categories. You know? All right, so you didn't you didn't do what you said you were gonna do. You didn't. Say you didn't. You didn't. You didn't say. You said five. That's okay. But but you had some fun. Yes. You want some extra money out there? Yes. Then you gave away some money. No no I'm I'm up. You got up. I'm up. Cause you missed a, a strike. Miss one. Miss one. Okay okay we we're trying to keep up with it back there but the carpet was just in the way. The carpet was in so, the way. So I wanna so tell me what it was like bowling with Megan this time. What did you what did you take away from this? I didn't bowl Megan last time, I was commentating, but gotcha, watching okay. her and then bowling with her, 
solid form. I already knew that I had to stay above my transition in order to be her. So I saw my guy right here. He came down and, um, you know, I saw him tell her, you know, like, hey, you can go toe to toe with Segura. Like, I respect you for that. And like, so that's great to see in, in this thing. Um, what, what do we got? Talk to me about Central real quick. You're going to be over to Central Conference real quick. You're going in as the champ of the Central Conference. Like, you just, you, you, like, sandbagging everybody, so to speak. But, hey, I'm, so I'm proud of you as a peer. So just a quick, real quick, like, tell me about what you're looking forward to in the Central. I'm looking forward, since the Central, or DMV, has begged for this for five years, I know they better come out. They better participate. And we'll work on different types of medias and spreading people out, different types of things to be able to promote it, um, be able to show more, so more video, make sure it goes to the YouTube page. Um, but we're just looking to build it. Like when we say World Championship Series, it's not ranking, it's not bowling in your district, it's really bowling people in whatever house, some houses I've never heard of, and you bowl somebody you may know, you may not know, and see if you're good that day. At any day, anybody can get beat. So I'm looking to bring that in the Central. I know you're looking to grow that in the Southeast, and we're looking for that in the Northeast. So if you really want to see how you are toe to toe, one on one, WCS is where you're going to get that training. And so I look forward to what you're going to do in Central. Shout out your sponsors real quick. Woo, my sponsors. We got Hammer Bowling. We got Addicted to Bowling. We got L L1 Apparel. We got Brooms Plumbing. We got CB Gripper. Um, we got World Class Pro Shop. Um, we got Striking for Striking uh, Striking Against Suicide. Spares for Spare a Life. So those are all the sponsors. Well, congratulations on the win today, and I look forward to talking to you some more this weekend. Thank you. UBA all day.